Hello, friends, and welcome. This is Top 3 at 3. My name is Ruel Gaviola. I will be your host today. It's been a while since I've done a Top 3 at 3, and this is where I talk to friends about um, different things um, in regards to board games. Usually, we do a Top 3 list of certain games, but today I've done a little something different. Um, first of all, I'm bringing my friends Amanda and John on, and if you watch our Twitch streams regularly, uh, you know that we do... Or in East LA on Tuesdays at 3 p.m. So today we want to do something different, bring them in. And I want to talk about did this really broad topic of top our top three board games and food. And I left it really vague on purpose. I wanted to see how each of us would to would uh, respond to this. So I'm really excited about talking to them. I mean, I love talking to John and Amanda about games regardless, but to have them on here, it's really special. So I want to thank them again. So that's John Gonzalez, Amanda Panda. They are, we co-host a show called Board in East LA that John started a few months ago. And he brought me and Amanda on. It's been a lot of fun. We get to talk, hang out, uh, you know, we can't get together in real life because, you know, we are real life friends, too. And um, so we do that as a way of just to stay connected and uh, enjoy each other's company, but also make friends and connections on the Internet as well. So I want to say to hi to everyone in chat. You know, we've had some silliness already with John and Amanda talking about our green room back here. Right. Um, John, I know he loves his cotton candy grapes. And um, so we've been having fun with that. Say hi. to. I want to say hi to Slackfish, Time Roller, GB Glazer. Um, who else? I see Alex there. Thank you, Alex, for joining us. Um, and Patrick is here too. All right, Patrick. Yeah, and he, uh, Patrick's already. He said he posted three of my favorite things, folks: Indian sushi, dim sum, and Patrick has spoken. So yeah, end of the show. See y'all next time. But yeah, great choices, Patrick. Um, the <laughs> so the subject of the stream is whatever we normally talk about for the first fifteen minutes of any tabletop tonight. Yes, if y'all watch us on tabletop tonight, Monday through Thursdays at seven p.m., this is pretty much what we do. We start with the stream snacks. Hopefully, y'all have a good stream snack right now. I actually have grapes, but they are not cotton candy grapes. I've had these for the last two days, I believe. These are hobgoblin grapes. They're pretty much just regular large, like a little bigger size grapes. They're just green grapes in new packaging. I mean. I don't know if the um, if there's actually a thing called a hobbling, goblin grape, but they look cool in the store. It's got a little Halloween style graphics, so I don't know. I'm a sucker for that type of stuff, so <laughs> they they got me on that one. Uh, Games of Fire is in the house. Thank you for joining us, Games of Fire. I had a really good stream last night with Amanda McKnight. Hopefully, uh, y'all saw that. And I know GB Glazer was one of the winners of the um, Wingspan Digital Code. So congrats again, um, GB Glazer. And uh, Patrick says cotton candy grapes. Mess with my brain too much. I can't. Are they they're so delicious though. They're they're sweet. I wouldn't say they're totally sweet. They're sweeter than a regular grape, but they do remind me of cotton candy a little bit, um, like the flavor or whatever. But they're they're much more substantial than cotton candy, right? They don't just like disappear. Um, I want to uh, mention that our sponsor today for Top Three at Three. Again, this is the first one we've done in a while, so I want to thank um, Thunderworks Games. They are our sponsors today. Thunderworks Games, uh, if you've seen, actually on Monday, we had a game of Cartographer's Hero, Heroes, which is now on Kickstarter. So please check out uh, Cartographer's Heroes on Kickstarter. Consider backing. They have, you have until Friday. Yeah, it's about a day and a half left. Um, yeah, about almost two days. I think it's like 11 a.m. Pacific on uh, Friday. But you have a couple of days. It's been funded many times over. I love it. I mean, I love Cartographer's, the Heroes it, expansion adds some new stuff. It doesn't totally change the game. Um, we had a really good time with uh, Suzanne, Nicole, um, Calvin, and Jonathan. If you saw that stream, I'm still, like, we've been talking about the last couple of days. Jonathan Liu, he had made his own cartographer's score sheet on an Etch-A-Sketch. And he's, like, this genius Etch-A-Sketch artist. I've never seen anything like it before. Apparently, it's a thing. But Jonathan, he made his own cartographer um, score sheet. And then he played cartographers on that, on the Etch-A-Sketch, like, live. I was... It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Please check it out. Um, it's on, I think the uh, replay is now on YouTube as well as uh, Twitch. So please check that out. Uh, it's just so mind-blowing that he he did that. Um, Eclectic Camels in the house. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to stay hydrated, friends. I am really, um, I don't know what it is. Late The last couple of days, I've been really dry throat, like cotton mouth. I don't know why, but anyways. Kate Willow's in the house. Kate Willow, um, congrats. That's another winner of our Wingspan um, uh, giveaway last night. Hope you're enjoying it, my friend. Uh, Alex is talking about grapes in Korea. Oh, skins were super thick. They actually didn't. Really? Whoa, crazy. 
apple banana what okay y'all are bringing some stuff i've never heard of before really crazy cotton candies uh yeah this is my mind's blown by that question eclectic camel <laughs> uh ba- oh uh is it bass or bass one mo hi all and I, now and you're normally asleep with this hey thanks for joining us much appreciated okay and thank you for redeeming the 100 bruno points um i'm gonna stay hydrated thanks to our, our friend eclectic camel Enough chit chat with me, folks. Well, I, I want to bring on our guests. I these two are uh, friends, good friends of mine here in, in Southern California, and we, you know, play games before pre-COVID. We played games a lot. We're still playing games, just doing it online these days. I'm gonna bring out. Let's talk about Amanda Panda. She is a geeky panda lover that likes to crochet, read, bead, watch TV movies, uh, watch TV and movies, paper craft, and play tabletop games. She is also a co-host of Board in East LA. This is Amanda Panda. Hello, Amanda. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I, I'm so glad I ate before the stream. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be extremely starving. It's gonna, yeah, it's going to be one of those streams where it, yeah. <laughs> we're not messing around today. <laughs> Let me put this over here. Amanda, how's it going? What's What's been going on? I haven't seen you since uh, yesterday during board in East L.A. So Hopefully you're doing ago. well. So long ago. Yeah. <laughs> right, um, right. Yeah. No, th- you know, I've, I've been following your footsteps and being busy uh, this weekend, we, especially this weekend because we have, like, so many things ha- happening, right? BGG and mm-hmm. we have Essence Fuel and Renegade has Morphin Meat. And I think there's something happening in the digital world with Steam that Suzanne tweeted I out. I just it's saw that, yeah. Crazy. yeah. Yeah, so it's a really... Uh, very very we have a very busy weekend but it's gonna be a lot of fun i wore my perfectly themed shirt for everyone oh yeah today. can you talk about your shirt a little um, bit it I'll says you vegan here. vegetarian meatitarian <laughs> meatitarian <laughs> yes that's me i'm a meatitarian right here Same. Yep, yep. So, yeah. <laughs> nice uh, i do want to shout out thinker themer thank you for joining us these are our friends down under thank you for uh joining us did someone say food good morning everyone yes yeah. so you know, friends in chat please let us know what your stream snacks are uh, i've got my hobgoblin grapes uh amanda do you have a stream snack right now uh well i just ate i just ate like finished my pokeball from um okay. like when i met you on monday <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I like it. Took me three meals because I don't like to eat a lot for yeah. like acid reflux, you know, stuff. But yeah. man, it took me three meals. So good, still good, still fresh, still amazing. Nice. And it was, it was a lot of food, right? They, they it's a lot, a lot of food. food. Yeah. yeah and, I was um, so surprised. Yeah, I just have Coke right now, Coke and water. Yeah, which will ease into you know our whole talk because i don't eat when i play games i'm too focused on the game <laughs> right right yeah <laughs> nice well i'm so happy you're here amanda thank you again for joining me thank um you. mrs gab 2020 and michelle says hello all you wonderful people and let's bring on our other guest um john gonzalez he is the creator and co-host of board in east la a weekly live streaming show featuring his favorite aspects of tabletop gaming friendly competition having fun and getting to know your table mates john also writes reviews for his blog and the five by uh podcast let us bring john gonzalez there he is john how are you my friend hey everybody how are you good 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 to see you um for those of you that don't know john is a major halloween fan as you can tell in the background there john have you added anything new since we last saw you yesterday uh i don't think so no i don't think so well jaws is back there oh Oh, jaws that's right it's back there and and why is jaws back there john may i ask (laughs) well i've been playing it with uh lorena and uh we're gonna play it next week on our show on yes la you Amanda and I are going to play that, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Um, I've heard so many good things about Jaws, and I just, I've, again, it was a shelf of shame of mine. So I'm so happy to, you know, be able to play that with y'all to, um, next week. Um, sorry. I, I just saw a thing here. Uh, GB Glazer, thank you for joining us. Uh, bass or bass? Was, almonds is my stream stack, normally, but mostly I watch streams at the evening. So a glass of wine is fine. John, what is your stream stack today? Do you have one today? I don't actually. I have water right now. Right now, I'm in between snacks. I have like some lifesaver candies right here that I eat oh, uh, nice. every once in a while, and I actually got those as a as a a little gift from Extra Life Los Angeles. They sent us a care package with a bunch of like candies and all these other things, and mm-hmm. that was really nice. nice of them. That's 
awesome. awesome. And um, speaking of Extra Life, can you talk a little bit about Extra Life? You and uh, you've been doing this for a while now. Do um, you want to go ahead and talk about that? Yeah, sure. I'm always happy to talk about Extra Life. Extra Life is a yearly fundraising effort where gamers from the United States and Canada get together and play games for 24 hours to raise money for their local children's hospitals. Uh, my wife and I have been doing it for nine years, and we play 24 hours uh, just nonstop gaming uh, with with some pauses to eat and you know, uh, you know, small breaks. But it is a 24 hours we do, and we get our family and friends to sponsor us and. Uh, and that's always a lot of fun. That happens in November. This year it's happening in November 7th. And I'm still mm -hmm. fundraising and my wife is still fundraising. Uh, but we're getting closer to our goal. And that's going to be a real good time. I'm mm -hmm. also, I'm starting, to, I'm getting to the point where I'm looking forward to it. Uh, as I always do. But yeah. also I'm kind of like dreading those last final hours. Because when you're doing a 24 hour marathon. Uh, near the, the end of it, the last final stretch of like three or four hours. You're kind of like, what did I get myself into? Uh, and, and, and you start like thinking about like, I'm not going to do this next year, but then afterwards, right afterwards, you're like, Oh my God, it was such a great event again. And I can't wait to do it next year. And all that noise you heard was actually my cat comment. All she, right. Comment. She was on yeah, my dad's tail. Yeah. Yeah, I saw her tail. Yeah. yeah. And Amanda, you are, uh, you are also doing extra life stuff as well this year. Correct. Yeah, it's my first year. Um, decided to do on my birthday and then, uh, we just continued on. Uh, I raised my goal to 1500 because I was so close. I'm like a little over $200 to my goal. So um, nice. I'm still going to fundraise. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole 24 hour thing on November 7th. I think I'm going to just do little chunks, you know, yeah. Fridays with John. Sometimes we will stream for extra life. I am thinking of, mm -hmm. you know, having other people on and um, just trying it that way because I did a 14 hour stream on my birthday and I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> like Amanda is still recovering from that. <laughs> yes, exactly. That was yeah. like two months ago. I'm still recovering from that. Nice. And that's intense because you're, you're playing games for an extended period of time, but you're also managing a stream and that's mm -hmm. also like adding to that. So I can imagine 14 hours is of that, of anything, but especially that is like a lot. There's yeah, my I mean, jumped on the. There's yeah, comments. Yeah, comments well. there she yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah I, I mean, I do like two hours, and I'm just like burnt out. You know, it's like you need that recovery time. You know, yeah. but so to do yeah. something like 14 hours, like oh my gosh, I can't even imagine, or 24 hours even. That's just insane to me. But you know, yeah. kudos to y'all. You know, it's for a great cause. So you know, Definitely. um, I would like to. I, I will be doing stuff throughout that weekend. Hopefully, jumping on different streams like i'm not going to do it personally but I'm, i want to support you know those who um are doing it of course so um yeah uh, that is november 7th correct john correct that's what i'm doing the 24 hour uh, marathon uh, along most people are doing it that, then too so there's going to okay. be a lot of people streaming a lot of people doing it awesome cool and i see gb glazer noted his favorite three three favorite foods chicken parm spanish is it rioja uh, it's a wine and literally anything Thai, Japanese, Korean, French, German, Mexican. <laughs> Can't pick three. Yeah, I, I pretty much love all of that, uh, GB Glazer. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, Patrick says he remembers John from a Twilight Imperium game. We were at Patrick's house, John, that one time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, Michelle G, that my wife, Mrs. Gav, has a hazelnut coconut cream and nut wafer. So yummy. Michelle does. Oh. Uh, she has like, a, I think it's, I forgot what it's called, but it's a a, a monthly box of snacks from around the world. So like last month it was from Brazil and then this month is from Russia. So it's like different snacks from different countries. Nice. And I, yeah, I, you can like cancel, you know, you just do it month by month. And I told her if there's one for the Philippines, you need to cancel because we could just go down the street to our <laughs> local seafood city and get all the Filipino snacks there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. uh, Steph Raccoon is in the chat. Thank you, Steph, for joining us. And Michelle Ridge as well. Hello, Michelle. Hi. Good hey, to Michelle. see some um, familiar faces. Yes, uh, uh, Patrick, it is Universal Yums. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Michelle, right there. Um, Y'all can drop the link, or you can find the link on. Y'all know how to use Google. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, we are here today, friends, to talk about food and games. And we're going to talk about our um, top three games and food. And I'm going to ask y'all, what is on your list? GB Glazer got a head start there talking about his uh, three foods, favorite foods. Now, we're talking games and food, and I left it very vague. I want to see how we answered this. It's, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean what games you like to eat, 
or what what the games you like to eat, what foods you like to eat with games, <laughs> or is it what food related games you like to play? I, I left it very wide open. We're going to see what it, John and Amanda came up with. Uh, ben is in the house. Thank you, Ben. Um, hey, Ben. Not, sh- not sure if we're talking about today's lunch, but I had a tofu banh mi. Wow, really? Mm, I've nice. never. I didn't know that was a thing. I love banh yeah. mi. But it's usually pork. It, that's the, the ones I enjoy. Meeple Overboard is in the house. Chris, thank you so much. And hey, Chris. Baker Th- Themer is talk, uh, talking already. Kitchen Rush and Ramen Fury. I forgot about Ramen Fury. That's a fun little card game. Mm-hmm. Comments in the Fury. house. Comment. <laughs> uh, keep her up there for a second. There's comment. Yay, comment. Oh, say hello to everybody. Hello. <laughs> So cute. Is that her so voice? Cute. Did she just say hello? That was. She knows how to speak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michelle Ridge says that Comet looks grumpy. Mm. She doesn't like to be picked up. up. She's yeah. very independent. That's why one of the reasons, many reasons we love her. <laughs> nice. She just ran up to me. Like, oh, all right. <laughs> because she, she heard you were talking about her. Is yep. that what you're talking about yeah. me? Yeah, Kitchen Rush is good, <laughs> Rockstar. Yep, I, yeah. I, I, I oh, own there's both. So many, yeah. I love it. These are great comments, yeah, folks. Yeah. Keep them coming. I, um, you know, Ruel, I want to go back to that thing about like which board game tastes the best. I think you I know. I, I that's like a new thing, right? Yeah, right. Uh, Have uh, you been uh, doing that's... board game breakfast without us? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like literal board game breakfast. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Which, which board game do you think would actually taste good? You would think mm-hmm. that Sagrada would be good because they look like little starbursts, the little, yeah. <laughs> the little tokens. Or right? Azul, right? Azul. Azul, right? Azul. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, that's the one I would think. And I, you know what? I got to be honest. I almost put Azul on the list because it looks so delicious. But, you know, <laughs> I don't want to encourage that type of behavior. <laughs> But it's true. You don't want to get people's dental bills in your exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Michelle Ridge. Actually, that's there. It is board games that should be food, right? Azul's that's definitely right. one of the ones on the list there. Um, but let's let's get into this list. I'm going to start, and then we'll go to John and then Amanda. We're going to start with some honorable mentions first. So uh, my honorable mentions for board games and food. Top three games and food. Honorable mentions. I've got Sushi Go Party and Twilight Imperium. And here's my reasoning. Sushi Go Party, <laughs> obviously, right? Obviously, Sushi Go yeah. Party, it's a great theme. Also, Sushi Go, the regular card game. You know, it's about sushi. It's super cute. And it's the perfect, like, blend of, you know, it's got cute sushi. And I always want to eat sushi when I play it. Now, so that's easy. Twilight Imperium. Yes, I was, there was going to be, I, I figured me or John or Amanda, one of us is going to mention Twilight Imperium because I feel like that's like a, needed, that's something that just we, we just do nowadays uh, on every stream that we do. Um Besides me mentioning the Dodgers in the World Series, um, the other thing we talk about is Twilight Imperium a lot. Twilight Imperium is one of my favorite games because of the fact that it's so long that there's a built-in lunch break, snack break, (laughs) ice cream break, and whatever. So it's always, I always look forward to Twilight Imperium, not only because the camaraderie of friends and playing a game, but also because we always have to eat something. And it's usually either a very delicious sandwich, a burrito, We've had snacks. We've had ice cream. We've had, I, I don't know if we've had too many beers, I mean, maybe one or two, but that's usually at the end of the game. But those are my two honorable mentions. Amanda and or John, would you like to jump in on this? Um, I was like, I was thinking, what do you mean by Twilight Imperium? <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> then I realized, yeah, like it's almost like, your game is semi centered around food <laughs> because you're like, right. when is our next break? When can I get? And then <laughs> um, uh, when I played it with you guys, it was at that um, that place with the ice cream. Um, yes. Was it? What and kind of ice cream was it? Yeah, it yeah, yeah. It was thrifty ice cream. Yeah, yes. thrifty ice cream. So I was like, yes, let's get ice cream. And then <laughs> yep. you, know, you eat it while you're yep. like negotiating. But I, yeah, Sushi Go is definitely like, that, that yeah. was one of the top top ones that um popped into my head nice but man yeah. the chat has so many of them that i know I'm i didn't look, think I'm about yeah. i didn't think about bonanza which is so true bonanza, right beans beans uh, patrick, i didn't think of that yeah i mean there's so many out there and patrick he gets it because you're gonna have to take a break to eat for yeah, a yeah, yeah. so that's that's why I, I chose that one no i agree i agree but like yeah no like at first I was like, oh, I can't really think of it. And then I started going through my list of games I played. And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So yes. Yeah. John, any ah. thoughts? Uh, yeah, uh, I have for my honorable mentions, actually, um, I have uh let's see, food chain magnate. Mm-hmm. And that's all about like slanging food and you're trying to undercut people and selling food. 
Mm-hmm. And every time I, I play that game, I'm always kind of like the little the little meeples, the little tokens that are like sodas and burgers and pizzas <laughs> look pretty appetizing. <laughs> like, yeah. like they just remind you of food and you're like, yeah, after this, I kind of want to get a pizza or a burger. Let's hit up the burger combination <laughs> slash pizza place right. and get some food. You know, I always feel that way after that game. Yeah. Especially if it goes long, if the game could go long. It's it does build an appetite uh, for yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely, yeah. So yeah, those are my two honorable mentions: Sushi Go Party because it actually it does have a food theme to it, and the Twilight Imperium just because of the type of game it is. Uh, let's move on to uh, John. Your honorable mentions, my friend. I just realized I, I just did, did my honorable mentions. Them? Oh, I thought uh, did you change them? Because I have them written. Oh yeah, that's here. true. You do. Did did you? Yeah. You did. Okay. You changed both okay. of them. Interesting. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Are you cheating? You're gonna add more than <laughs> two. Now I'm Here, here's what I originally had, two. folks. This is I'm gonna show John's right here. I originally had okay. him for Ginger House, Gingerbread House, and Kitchen Rush. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I did. I'm, I'm looking at a second document, a secret document, if you will. Ah, secret ah, document. Ah. Okay. You heard. But you I saw here first. Gingerbread House and Kitchen Rush for my honorable mentions. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Have cool. you either one of you played Gingerbread House or I have not? I that's a Phil Walker Harding game. Yeah, that is a Phil Walker Harding game, and it's a it's a really cute set like uh, collect card collecting game where you're building up a gingerbread house, and the, the tiles are like nice and chunky, and they look like cookies, like gingerbread cookies. <laughs> so you kind of want to eat those afterwards. Nice. Uh, and yeah, we play that. We usually break that game around like the holidays, and we play that a lot, and that's a lot of fun. That's cool. I, that one like totally flew under the radar, right? I mean, I feel Walker Hardy, and like I don't really hear much about it. Um, yeah, it's like, like a fun game, but I feel like um, like people that are expecting a more uh, heavy game or a medium to heavy game, you're not going to find it there. It's it's a very kind of like filler game, but it's a lot okay. of fun. Gotcha. Cool. Have you played that one, Amanda? Gingerbread House. Mm, I think I yeah. remember John talking about it, um, but mm-hmm. I didn't get to. So yeah. Yeah, I was interested in that. But it, it seems year. like the perfect time of the year, right? Absolutely, yeah. right? It's that time. Throw Throw Burrito from Thinker Themer. Um, yeah, I, I still have not played that game. It sounds so silly, yeah. and I, I totally want to play it. Um, <laughs> but let's move on to Amanda's honorable mentions. Amanda, you have two as well on your yes, honorable Yes, but list. first, since John, <laughs> I'm going to do a little cheat. <laughs> no, we're just cheating. I'm going to cheat. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to say... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, okay, so I don't really eat and game at the same time because I'm too focused on one or the other. So like at Game House, I'll have a pie, but I'll eat it before we play because if I try to eat it during, the pie just sits there and I forget about it. And I'm like, it's no longer warm and gooey and yummy and all my whipped cream is all melted. So I always eat it first (laughs) and then play my game. So like, when I had them like jo- Ruel over and Ben and Steph over for my house, we we had hot pot. Then we cleared off the table, and then we play all the games with the full tummy and stuff. So that's I just wanted to mention those. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Game house pie and hot yeah. pie. <laughs> Game house pie. And again, we, we talk about this on board in East LA every week, but you know, please, if you're in the Southern California area, please consider going to Game House Cafe. They are a local board game uh, cafe, which is obviously closed because of COVID, but they are open uh, on Saturdays where you can pick up a pie and their pies are tremendous. Go to their social media pages. You can order via their email. I think, is it until Thursdays every week, Amanda and John? Is that correct? Yep. Thursdays and then yep. we pick up on Saturday. Thursday pickup on Saturday. They're they're tremendous. We just had a pear ginger pie that was out of this world. But okay, Amanda, you've had your oh. cheat. Now your, your real honorable mentions. My real honorable mentions. It was hard. It was hard for me. Um, but I just listed every food game, and then I and then I forgot some. But my two honorable mentions is Happy Salmon and Chai. So yeah. Happy Salmon is like. It doesn't, it's not like I could do a whole list of games that make me hungry after I play them. Happy salmon, yeah, because you're running around and you're make you know you know you're expending energy, so you do get hungry after you play it. But it's not like you want salmon. Do you really feel right, like that? Yeah. But it's so much fun. It's so like, much fun. I, anytime I play the game, I sw- swear I'm always like sweating and like <laughs> like fully famished, but not for yeah, salmon. Yeah. I just want like something to eat and drink. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, and then chai because I mean any tea theme game, yeah. you know, like macaron, like uh. For most of the tea, any of the tea theme games are like awesome to have 
like, oh yeah, I want to have a cup of tea and enjoy it, like dragon tea party and stuff. Okay, I'm just putting in too many. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening like 20 games all the time. <laughs> exactly. Sorry. Oh, now he's yeah. cheating. Now he's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> a tea theme game category. Okay. That's my one honorable mention. No, just kidding. <laughs> but no. Uh, <laughs> Chai is a, a really beautiful, awesome game that's really fun and, and really does make me want to have another like cup of tea. So, yeah. 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 And that game is just absolutely gorgeous. Some of the Mm -hmm. nicest production i've seen and that was like their first game right that they put out together yeah. uh don and dan and connie i was like so blown away and they're you know i got to yeah i think we both met dan i think at uh, mm -hmm. dice Star west it's like yeah. really nice guy yeah um, so, so nice. So yeah nice. very yeah. cool there's a ton of comments in the chat folks mm -hmm. and i'm mm -hmm. just going through them here i see throw throw burrito i love what alex said throwing burritos is sacrilegious agreed my friend <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, great combination, food and games. Um, working on home. Oh, okay, cool. Truffle Shuffle is a nice game. Mm, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> ben, Reef Encounter. You build up coral reefs purely for your parrot fish to eat. Nice. <laughs> uh, Chris says that Jimbird House is underrated for sure. And oh, okay. Tommy Miller Jr. says y'all are making me hungry. I think I'll ask my wife to make my favorite pork scene. Oh my gosh, that's my that's my go to when when it's uh, gets cold out. Uh, uh, Tommy, I love Sinigang, especially the pork. Right. Um, let me see some of the other comments. I'm gonna just y'all y'all know what we're doing here. If if you want to chat, <laughs> go right ahead. Um, thank you. you again for joining us, folks. And oh, Michelle, another Sinigang fan. Nice. Sinigang na, na ba boy. Um, Fort. Oh yeah, I totally bought. Oh yeah, pizza and Fort. Yeah. Great call. Um, but anyways, let's get back to our list. Um, so thank you, Amanda. Honorable mentions and then some. Uh, <laughs> let's get to our number threes. I'm going to start first, and we'll go to then John and Amanda. My number three. Again, I sort of cheated on this one. My number three is Santa Monica. So Santa Monica, there. It's it's a game about the beach, and you just go to the beach and you create your beach side, and you have your businesses and stuff. Nothing really to do with food, but again, I think of the beach, and I think of. Um, family trips to the beach throughout my childhood and we, we we haven't done it this year obviously and but we we used to do this annual thing go to the beach not actually Santa Monica we actually went to a different beach in uh, southern california but we'd all get together and just have this big seafood extravaganza we'd order seafood fresh from the market and then have them cook it or then we could we could also grill stuff on the grills and it's just a wonderful way to spend an early more or late morning early afternoon day with the family going to the beach, hanging out, eating. And actually, in the game Santa Monica, there's a bunch of eateries as well. But I'm totally cheating here. But Santa Monica, that's a food game combination that I really enjoy. That's my number three. Have either of you played Santa Monica? I haven't, no. Oh, okay, no. yeah. This one's uh, from AEG. came out earlier this year. Um, I really enjoyed it. I, I don't know. I, it's one of those games I feel like it's, uh, like I said earlier, another one that just sort of flew under the radar. I don't know if the... The theme didn't grab everyone or what it, but it's really good. It's by uh, Josh Wood, one of the designers of Tiny Towns. Mm -hmm. Very, it's definitely got a puzzle element to it. And it's just very Southern California to me. I mean, mm -hmm. I, for both of you, I would highly recommend it. Just, it's a, got a very laid back vibe to gameplay, but it's got this neat puzzle to it. So anyways, that's my number three, Santa Monica. Thinker Themer says art is incredible. A bit like, yeah, it is a lighter game with a little puzzle to it. Yes. Tate Wu is in the house. Thank you, Tate. I uh, remind us of Cat Lady and developed um, Tiny Town. Yes. Yeah. Cat, I, cat Lady was on my think list because you are like grabbing a lot of food for and feeding your cats. That's um, right. But yeah, I was, I, I saw your, um, of course, I watched your playthrough of Santa Monica and I was like, oh, that does look good. I do want to. I think you would like it, Amanda. Yeah. yeah it, it feels like your type of game for sure. Yeah. I mean, and plus um, we would have to go to Santa Monica Beach and, Set it up and play it, yep. you know, with the, the pier behind game. us or something. You know, you don't, exactly. you don't want to do that. You might lose your board games at the beach. That's <laughs> oh yeah, oh, you might lose oh, your like someone's action figures. Just, yeah, yeah, your action figures. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, poor John <laughs> right, lost action figures. Uh, <laughs> uh, Michelle Rich says the Dini Guang is a close second. Nice, Michelle. I. I have um I don't know if it'd be my second, but I, I do enjoy Dina Guang. Y'all know what that is? It's chocolate meat, Filipino. Yeah, y'all try it. Okay. It's look it up sometime. It's called chocolate meat. It's not really chocolate, but I oh, that's all I'm gonna say it. about it. What the hell? Um, <laughs> what, what kind of meat is it? Sorry. It's um 
Uh, goat meat. It's goat meat, oh, okay. but then there's mm. what makes it chocolatey. You'll you'll see. Um, best happy salmon game told everyone one round they had to do it in British accents, and they did. That's interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah. So Santa Monica number three. Let's move on. John, you're number three, brother. Uh, let's see. My I'm gonna look at the real list here. Uh, my oh, number you got, three is. You can do fake <laughs> list too. That's cool. I have a Sushi Go Party as my number three. Sushi Go oh, Party okay. is uh, an amazing uh, card drafting game where. Uh, it has a variable setup, and it's easy to teach, easy to play. You can share it with a lot of people. And every time you play, and I'm sure we've all talked about this at some point, uh, uh, every time you play, you just want to eat, like, sushi right afterwards or while you're playing it, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And that game is just, like, always making me hungry. I feel like a lot of games make me hungry, but this one <laughs> makes me very hungry specifically for sushi and sushi rolls. Yeah, for real. Sushi. Yeah. Oh, I love sushi. You know, I think we're all sushi fans here, right? Yes, um, yes. How yeah, could you such not a good be, game. really? Yeah. Really? Um, there's some people that don't like raw fish. I mean, uh, you could be sushi mm. as in a cooked fish, but yeah, some mm -hmm. people don't like seafood, so. Yeah, but yeah, I love sushi, though. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, um, I prefer, you know, it's basic, it's the same basic game as the, the base game, right? It just adds a bunch of cards. And I like yeah. all those new cards and different ways to score. It's still, you know, card drafting and set collection. But yeah, mm -hmm. family favorite here for sure. Um, I saw a comment here. I want to say hi to Leland still dropping in. Thank you for joining us. Cosmos Games UK is in the house. Hi, thanks for joining us as well. Good to see y'all here. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's John's number three is Sushi Go Party. Nice. Uh, Amanda, what is your number three? Uh, let me double check. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> okay. have like three okay. different lists, huh? <laughs> oh, no, because I'm chatting with chat and then I forget. Um, so my number three is Scoville. With the yeah. Nice. I love the puzzling nature of this game. It can be a little bit take that where you're blocking people that when you're running around on your farm. But yeah, I mean, it does not make me want to eat a hot pepper, but I love the little hot pepper shaped meeples and mm -hmm. it's just so colorful and, and a, a really fun game. I, I really find it very satisfying to like trade in them for like the yeah. ghost peppers and stuff. And so, it, yeah, it is a very, 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 yeah, great theme, you know, great yes. implementation. It, it's yes. so much fun. Yes. I enjoy it as well. Good call, Amanda. Uh, John, have you played Scoville? I haven't actually. No. Oh, you need to play. Yeah, it's it's it yeah, out of print. It I don't know. I got it on the Kickstarter. Um, so oh, I okay. I think yeah. it. I haven't heard about it if it's out of print. I know it was in local um, game stores and on Amazon and stuff. But you know, because I own it, I don't really check on <laughs> mm, yeah, <laughs> whether it's in yeah. print or not. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Kay Willow asks, uh, going back one, I haven't played Party but own Sushi Go. Mm. Do they need to upgrade? I. I feel like it's an easy upgrade, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm I enjoy Sushi Go, but I think Party just gives you more, you know, variability and yeah. replayability, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't think you need to upgrade if you're if you're if you like Sushi Go, um, but mm -hmm. if you're playing it a lot, it's nice to upgrade because yeah, you get that variability. But if it's like just every once in a while, because Sushi Go Party can kind of cause you to be like. Oh wait, which stats do we now use? Like which which you know? So it it yeah. increases the setup time and it increases the packing time. Sure. Um, so if you're not playing it like every day, you know, yeah. every, every once in a while, sushi just regular sushi go is so small and light and it fits in in person and stuff like that. So it's it's, it's true. Good. True, true. Uh, Alex has a scary story actually. He says that after eating sashimi, he got a kidney infection, wow. and he went to have sashimi in a different place a few weeks later and it happened again. I'm like, Oh, Dang. Gosh, sorry. Yeah. You're very uh, sensitive to the yeah. mercury yeah. and stuff then. Oh, that's so yeah. sad. Scary. Uh, Tommy says point salads replace sushi go for me. Point salad is a fun mm -hmm. game too. Leland also agrees. Yeah. I like point yeah. salad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, let's move on to, oh, oh, Ben, I was throwing Ben's comment here. If you would play sushi go more, but are bored of the way it scores and, Definitely something to look at for sure. Yes, I agree with that. Change yeah. it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, do y'all eat peppers? So, John, do you like peppers? Like just, you know. And just like peppers? eating peppers out of the wild? Uh, yeah. No, not really. <laughs> not your jam, huh? I like them in things and I like cooking with the peppers and like dried yeah. peppers, using them in stuff. But yeah, I don't usually, um, you know, I'm lying because they're at the burger places. They do have those little like yellow peppers. Thank like you. Those. Banana <laughs> then, pepper. 
<laughs> then if you go to like to like a, a shrimp place, like a Mexican shrimp place or a yeah. shrimp taco place, they do have those yep. big yellow peppers and yes. they're, they're like steamed. Oh, those are so good. I just load are up those? on those. Like I, I buy like one taco when it's 99 <laughs> cents taco day. And then I load up on those peppers yeah. and yep. then I'm miserable all night. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and that's the way it goes. But yeah, so oh, I do wow. eat some peppers, yeah. Do you, are, are the, I, I love the, it's like the yellow pepper and it's, I don't know if it's grilled or maybe it's steamed, like you said, but then it's got yeah. the like salt and pepper all over it or something like some kind of. Or, yeah. Or sometimes they put like a little chili powder on top. You yeah. Know, you got to put yeah. chili powder on top of your chili, you know, to make it a little <laughs> bit more. Keep it up a notch. So good. It's yeah. so good. I love it. it is and then so they have, my... oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to say there's those things also at like um, like a Japanese restaurant or a sushi restaurant where it's the, the shishito peppers. Have yeah. you had those? Those are good I too, love, yeah. I love those. And, you know, it's like every, it's like one out of ten is like hot. The other ones are like mild <laughs> or whatever. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm, yeah, this is, I knew this was going to happen. We're going to sit here and talk about oh, this. I'm already hungry. hungry. I'm starving. Yeah. I'm starving. <laughs> But uh, thank you again, friends, for joining us. We are talking about our top three games in food. We are moving on to number uh, two, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. Okay. My number two is Viticulture. Uh, one of my favorite worker placement games. And although the game is not actually about food, it's about wine, making wine. But, you know, of course, wine, you pair wine with food. It's all good. And it's just... I, I, this is one of my favorite games because it just it blends the theme in, I feel like, perfectly, right? You send your workers out to the vineyard. They do the things, making the wines, filling the orders. And I believe one of the old expansions uh, in Tuscany, wasn't there like a cheese-making thing or something? Yes. I Yeah, I only have the essential editions. I don't remember seeing that in essential, like a, a oh, specific that. thing. But Amanda, yeah. does it is that true? Do they have like a specific like cheese thing? They had a cheese making thing, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, if I I owned the essential viticulture because I didn't get the original, and I need to get the essential expansion Tuscany. But yeah, mm -hmm. if huh, I'm sad that they didn't have the cheese thing in Tuscany, but yeah, 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 yeah. there was I did play um, someone else's copy and did have making cheese as well because yeah. it pairs so well with mine, you know. Right, exactly, perfect. You and, know what yeah. they need to do. They need huh. expansion for cotton crate, cotton candy grapes. <laughs> yeah. Cotton candy grapes in the cheese expansion. Oh my gosh, that'd be so oh my good. God. Right? Can you imagine a wine, <laughs> yeah. a wine made out of cotton candy grapes? That would be oh, terrible. Oh, <laughs> that would be awful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, GB Glazer does mention grapes equal food. Yes, there it is. Yes. Yep. Grapes to wine. So yeah. yeah. um, if you want to make that expansion, you know, credit me. Hello. <laughs> yes. Thinker themer, Tuscany is a must. Yeah, love the Tuscany. Um, yeah, Tuscany, wine. you got to have Tuscany. I, I, yeah, it yep. adds a good bit of game to it. For yeah. real. Yeah. Uh, John, I know we one of the games, one of the final games we played at um, board game or at uh, Game House was Viticulture, I believe. You, yeah. me, and your wife one time. That one was, we we was did that, that play. We played that there once, but I don't think it was our last game we played there. Was it? We okay. Play, okay. Yeah. We played it like at an anniversary event for Game House. Oh, that's so that right. Was, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Love that game. Well, that's my number two, folks. Let's move on to John's number two. Uh, let's see. My number two is A Feast for Odin because yeah, uh, that's, nice. uh, that's a huge game, first of all. So uh, I got to mention it. And um, it's by Uwe Rosenberg, and it's a worker placement game. And it just has a smorgasbord, pun intended, of nice. options. And everything revolves around like feeding uh, your your workers, your uh you're, I want to say they're Vikings. I don't think they're Vikings, but they're, you're Vikings. And there's even like a little section where it's the table where you have to literally put food there to feed your workers. And uh, it's just such an amazing game that is also like a stretch of a game. It's like a marathon of a game. It could go on long and there's just so much to do that afterwards you do feel hungry and looking at those <laughs> nice like little bowls of peas and those nice, uh, 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 I want to say cows, you know, those are, they make you hungry. You know, they make you create little, <laughs> little feasts of your own. Mm -hmm. For real, yes. Nice call. Feast for Odin. Want to say good night to Cosmos Games UK. They're making yeah. Razzia. What is that? Crackers, cheese, and chorizo? Really? I've never heard of that. Never heard Have of that. No. I've heard it's of chorizo, but not. I like chorizo, yeah. yeah. Um, put chorizo on everything, man. Just do it. Okay, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick is also a fan of Feast of Odin. There you go. Nice. Good call, John. Well done. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, any game like. 
Feast Wars is like a 90 minute game, two hour game. Is that correct? I would say so. Yeah, around, around about yeah. there. Any anytime I play a game that's around two hours, that's I immediately. Well, what am I? I'm not gonna lie. I, I get hungry after a 15 minute game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now, I know Amanda said she doesn't snack while she's playing a game, but are you, like, opposed to snacking uh, while you're playing a game, or? No, I all? mean. Oh, oh. sorry. Oh, uh, I'm, yeah, I mean, I, you know what, uh, I'm sort of like Amanda in the fact, like, I like to eat while playing, but I always forget about my snacks, because I get so involved in the game, you know, it's exactly. like, I, I, maybe it's one of those things I can't, like, walk and talk at the same time. I just, you know, I got to focus in on the task, right? Yeah. But yeah, right. I. And then plus the, you know, I mean, if it's my game, I'm cool with it. But like other people's games, I don't want to like be eating and then like, you know, having my fingerprints touch, you know, oh, yeah. game. That's you true. know what I mean? So, but yeah, it's cool. Uh, Michelle Ridge says no snacking during card games. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Greasy cards. Hot. Yeah. So I have to say, though, unless like, I mean, Michelle, like, are you okay with like chopsticks snacking during ca card games? Oh, yeah. yeah. So. See that that's one way to get around the whole Cheeto thing, right? If you yeah, like Cheetos, yeah. that's an absolute yeah. no-no for games. But if you're using chopsticks, why mm -hmm. I, I'm like, yeah, I, I'm totally cool with it. And yeah. Michelle agreed. So yes, chopsticks, ultimate yeah. utensils. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Great. Great call, John. Uh <laughs> so let's go on to Amanda's number two. I think we may have talked about this game before. Yeah, it's a crossover with Ruel's number two. <laughs> yeah, it is viticulture. You I don't are one smart anymore. person. Yes. <laughs> John is not on the train. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so viticulture, you want to talk about that a little bit? Uh, no, you said everything I needed to say. But they did. Okay. Um, there are some people in the chat that said yes. There was a cheese um, and even like a spice oil uh, yeah. expansion module that you can get. That, um, but it might bog down the game a little bit, so mm -hmm. you know. But you True. know, we're we're gamers, so we're a little bit of a collector. So <laughs> <True>. you should <laughs> you should check it out. Yeah, yep. Alex has a funny comment. He said, "Just wipe your hands on Ruel's beard." <laughs> no thanks, my friend. Yeah, no, no, please no. <laughs> Slackfish does do uh, <laughs> crackers and cheese with wine Sunday afternoon yeah. games. That's a nice call. Yeah. That's that's such that's a nice. for me. Yeah, that's classy. It's yeah. relaxing. Classy. Very yeah. classy, yeah. yeah Keeping yeah. it classy, slackfish. Nice call. We should do that. We'll do that next time we play cribbage. Have some crackers. There you and go. Cheese. And yeah, um, speaking, of, speaking of cribbage, John, you and Lorena play every you know Saturday, right? Now that you're streaming it every Saturday. Yeah, we do. We're Are, gonna try to play uh, every Saturday. Get our game on, uh, cribbage game on on Saturdays on on my channel. Nice. And, and I don't I, know a lot. I don't know if there's a big like people are clamoring for cribbage, but we're gonna play cribbage. <laughs> and we're gonna have fun, you know. Nice a little streaming. Yeah. Are you, uh, do y'all snack when you're uh, playing? I, I didn't, I wasn't sure. If uh, yeah. Me and Lorena, sometimes we, if we're like, if it's like in between meals, we, one of us will make a nice little, like little cheese or salami thing and bring mm -hmm. it out. And we're always very careful. We have napkins and stuff where, you know, we don't, of course, when we go to other pl people's places, we don't, we follow their lead. So if they're like fine with eating chips, if they bring out Cheetos and they're playing the game themselves, <laughs> we, we follow suit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always at the discretion of the person who you're gaming with, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Very true. Nice. All right. So, yeah, that's Amanda's number two. Great call, Amanda. Let's move <laughs> on to our number ones, folks. These are our favorite, our top three games and food. These are our favorite. And again, you've seen how we sort of like just, we, we, gone all over the place with this discussion. We've even had uh, certain people using their cheat sheets as well. So, you know, kudos <laughs> to John and Amanda for doing that. I don't know uh, what happened. What I, I, you know, I, 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 yeah, I was so excited to be on the show that I made two lists. <laughs> like, one at night, and I woke up in the morning, made a second one. And then I, uh, oh, I love it. That's great. Yeah. Uh, let's get I to our number ones. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, Amanda. Go ahead. No, I didn't make two lists, but like my list is like a mile long now, right? And so I'm like, oh, how am yeah. I going to get we get so many good games, so I just stuck into chat. Yeah, I <laughs> totally. like I, I I forgot about a bunch of them too, and I, I see I've seen a bunch of the comments like, oh yeah, why did yeah. I you know think about yeah. that? Yeah. You know, even like the wingspans, yeah, uh, Silver Metal Tavern. Someone else talked about this too. Well, uh, they once mixed the chocolate mini eggs with the wingspan eggs for fun. <laughs> why do they look identical? Oh my goodness! <laughs> or the almond, you know, the almond eggs that yep. people do for their weddings. That is like yeah. exactly like yeah. wingspan eggs, like exactly. <laughs> Totally. And uh, Slackfish does, yeah, top 33. We could totally <laughs> nice. do that. This, <laughs> this comment, right? 
we, we should do like a maybe on a, during um, uh, extra life do like just a top three entire day right oh that'd be interesting just all the top threes <laughs> insane insane um let's yeah. move on to our number ones folks my number one game and food is a new york slice i think someone mentioned a comment before this mm-hmm. one to me it's I mean, it looks like a pizza. It seriously looks like a pizza, and you have your little slices, and it's um, you know, it's a I I slice you choose mechanism, and it's a, mm-hmm. you're trying to collect the numbers and score the most points by collecting the biggest sets of each one. It's a, I mean, just production wise, it's it's the one that looks like food to me the most, and it always makes you hungry for pizza. So that's my number one New York slice. Have y'all played this one? Yes, and I really love the first version, which is piece of plate. Piece O cake. Oh um, yeah, it was like, rethemed. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but I miss it because I'm like, oh, all the different cake types, and and then <laughs> they need a pie version. Oh my gosh, yeah. There's so many uh, good pie yeah. themed um, games as well. But oh yeah, that's a fun light <laughs> filler yeah. that you know, um, yeah. then you know, you can come be like, ah, you took that one, and uh, why did you, you know, right? Split it that way. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was fun. That was fun true have you played this one john yeah i have it's a lot of fun and again it makes me hungry cardboard <laughs> makes me hungry sometimes people <laughs> you know pictures, yeah pictures, yes. yeah and it's i mean it's seriously i mean even like the box itself it mm-hmm. looks like a pizza box and then the yeah. instructions are printed on a menu oh yeah. such a fun game but yeah that's my number one new york slice from i think it's bezier games or whatever um <laughs> Yeah, thinker themer, everyone in chat. Let's just let's just do a group pizza order, folks. Let's just see. You know. nice. Well, I I told you like this early on, um, but you need to add the thing where people can send you snacks. There's like a list thing that in chat they can go really? to it. They can buy oh, food right. that gets delivered to you, but they don't see your address and you don't see their credit card information. And so they, they just, just send you snacks. Like they can send you food off of a menu that you choose. Oh my gosh, this is in Twitch. <laughs> That's this like trouble. Thing, That's, yeah. Oh my god. It's trouble. Yeah. Like, what if they send you too much food and it goes Oh yeah. Someone, one of my friend uh, MZ um, from MZ Plays, like, someone sent her her whole menu, so she what had really? like she had like food for days. Oh my that. gosh. Yeah. That's, I mean, yeah, I, I need to look into that. Well, we should have looked. Well, you know what? I'll look into it and then we'll do another stream like this and then just <laughs> you know sit around for an hour and hopefully people will feed us. I mean. <laughs> Much yeah, fun. Yes, Bigger yes. Theme, but yeah, I can start streaming. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, so good. But yeah, that's my number one New York slice. And now I'm thinking about how I'm going to turn this streaming thing into a feed feed me thing. Um, <laughs> let's move on to John. John, you've got a great number one choice. Uh, what is your game? Uh, my number one choice, Ruel, is uh, a la carte. It's mm. This is a game that came out like in 1989. And it's a very fun, very elaborate looking game that looks great on the table. What it is basically is like there's a pan, like a physical tiny little pan and a hot plate and bottles filled with condiments. And the condiments and 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 spices are like these little bits, like plastic bits. So what you're doing is you're trying to create these recipes to score points. So you're adding uh, ingredients. You're, uh, and the way you add ingredients is really cool because it's like a little glass uh, jar that you tip over once. And whatever comes out, comes out. So if you get to over-season your food, uh, put too much salt in it, and ruin your food. And it has like this, like that, that nice little dexter- dexterity element. And also the the, the part I love the best is uh, you should check it out if you're if you're, haven't seen this game, look it up. All the all the bits of it are really cool. But the part I love is uh, there's a crepe. So if you decide to do the crepe, you have to, to in order to score points, you have to flip it by throwing it in the air <laughs> with your little pan. <laughs> So it's so amazing. And surprisingly, I'm really good at that. So the times we played it, I've always gone for those crepes. Like, flip, nice. flip. Nice. And I think that comes because I have a love for cooking and I love cooking. And, you know, I'm always flipping things, whether you, I need to flip them or not, you know? <laughs> now, I've That's played. So cool. Yeah. I've have you played, played this, Amanda? At Game House. They, that's That's right. played it. That's yeah. it. It was out of yes. print for a while. Yes. That's the only place I've played it. But yes, I agree. Like as soon as you started talking about, like, oh, I remember those salt shakers. Oh, I remember the little pan. Oh, I remember over seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I could not do the crepe flip flip thing. It just like flipped all over everywhere, you know. <laughs> so, but that that was a fun game. It is it is a dexterity game, I should say, because yeah, you you have to have a light touch and 
yeah. Uh, but well, you, next time you can go to Game House, like you should try. Yeah, it. yeah. yeah check it out. When, yeah, yeah when John, when I saw the list earlier, I was like, oh, I've never heard of this game a la carte. And when I looked it up, I was like, this looks really cool. And then having John explain, it's like, yeah, it's definitely a must must play for me. So yes, yes. great call, John, a, a la carte. A number la carte. one. And number you know, one. to celebrate the number one, I did bring a friend along into the stream. Can I bring him out right now? Absolutely, okay? yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's, who's your number one Who's here? my friend? Oh, yeah. Please welcome the pumpkin man. <laughs> Doing his dance. <laughs> <laughs> I also brought I also brought a little reminder from our uh, stream. Yes. You made the panda mad. <laughs> made the panda mad. You know, I have my own gifts and I travel with them. So, you know, if you ever need me on your show, I'll, I'll bring my own gifts. <laughs> it should have been you made the panda hungry. <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah, that's true. yeah. Yeah, friends. So every Tuesday at 3 p.m. um board in East LA, John is a Production technical wizard, as you saw there with the pumpkin man and the uh, make the panda mad. <laughs> so so oh, wait, good. I want to. I want to redeem down with Ruel then. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. oh, we got a request for down with Ruel. Okay, we got a. We got a request. There it is. <laughs> There's no sound on it, unfortunately, but yeah. Okay, but yeah, Victor Ortiz, our friend and gamer <laughs> from Renegade. Really Game. nice guy and the living yeah. meme. Really a living awesome. meme. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so we have talked about all these games. We've got one more number one left. And in honor of Amanda's number one, I'm going to... This is a surprise that um, I've been saving for... Uh -oh. I wanted uh, the final number one. I was going to put this on here. Uh, see if it works. It does work. I'm going to put on, in honor of the number one, a my turkey hat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. Talking about food for games. There's a turkey hat. Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mic. That's Can you turn to the side? I want to see the yeah. That's there's amazing. the turkey legs. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious! <laughs> you bring that out every Thanksgiving, it. don't you? Yeah, it has lights on it. It's yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh, so this goodness. was actually um, a gift that I gave for a white elephant, oh, and somehow wow. it came back to me. I don't know why, but I said, okay, I'll gladly <laughs> take it. So. <laughs> Ben's like, oh, no, no, goodness. it's an abomination. I agree, Ben. No, I don't know why. No, yeah, it's, it's an abomination. Ben, <laughs> yeah, Ben, do it. not play white elephant gift exchange with Ruel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Daryl with Mario, yeah, sounds like Harmony. Yes, you're correct, sir. So the, this is the uh, food and games uh, number one. Uh, we're ending with Amanda. Amanda, what is your number one? Um, so very early on in this stream, Steph already put it into the chat, but mine is Takanoko. Takanoko, G, you know, a panda game. Can you, I mean, come on, come on. Everyone should have known that that was my number one. I mean, yep. you're, you, you know, someone is going to plant plops of bamboo. Someone's going to grow bamboo just so the panda can go around eating all the bamboo. And that's like one of my favorite things to do in Takanoko. It's like, oh, I don't know what to do. I'll just draw another panda objective and go run around munching on other people's bamboo. And then people are like, I was trying to grow that. And I'm like, nope, I'm going to munch on it. And then you poop it out and make it into like a notebook, you know, and then sell it for profit. Oh, that's where notebooks come from. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> someone, nice. someone in Twitch, please clip that. We got to save that for a minute. That's classic. <laughs> But yeah, no, no, no. In San Diego, they did that because um, pandas just don't digest bamboo very well. So they they cleaned it, they sanitized it, and made it into handmade paper, panda poo paper, and sold it. Wow, as no that's awesome! Yeah. What really? It's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> The more wow, you really, know really, people, really, the more you know. Patrick puts all his notebooks in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> compost, Patrick, compost. <laughs> oh, Michelle Ridge, that's a pun on the pun meter. Thank oh, you, no, Michelle. Yes. Oh, my God, when I come back to, yeah. it's We've gone off the rails, folks. This is it. Um, I mean, we yeah. usually do. I mean, it's, you invited us. It's it's on you. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. It's like I Thank knew what you. I was getting myself into. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That, that's a, that's a great call though. Takenoko. I mean, it, it is very yeah. There's the pumpkin man, uh, pumpkin man with the uh, turkey hat. It's totally gone off the rails, folks. But yeah, I like Takenoko as well. I'm I'm a big fan of the eight the bamboo strategy. I feel like yes. don't you, do you feel like it's overpowered? Like, do you feel like most people win that way? No, because um, when I play, it's pretty balanced that someone will move the panda and you're like, oh, you moved it out of my way okay. and I, now I have to have like two extra moves, but then maybe the dice will give me an, a lightning so that I can just move the panda and then yeah. munch munch and then, you know, get the really high scoring 
uh, objective. But yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, Great. I'm writing all these tips down. I gotta yeah. <laughs> get some of these strategies down. I know this. Yeah. I again, Amanda's like really good at games, especially ones with pandas in them. Mm. So be careful. <laughs> Uh, ben does confirm not overpowered if you play with the one objective limit. Okay, yeah, that's oh, yeah, where you can yeah. only do one objective per turn, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then cool. um, he did say that elephant paper exists. And I have to say that Victor beat me at Takanoko twice on my birthday. So, oh. <laughs> wow, okay. Maybe not the best at a panda game. <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm taking the turkey hat off. I'm it's it's, hot, it's burning it? up my it's warm. head. Yeah, <laughs> it's way warm. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's been great. These are our top three plus a couple of honorable mentions. Um, our favorite game and food. Uh, games and food. There is the pumpkin. That's my favorite. I don't know if that's my. That's one of my top three favorite things that John does on board. Yeah, 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 I have to. Yeah, it's History definitely a top amazing. three. Um, yeah. I, I like. I like when you did the comet thing, where comet would fly around. That was probably my favorite one. The let that's a good one yeah whatever. yeah i like that one the best yeah. but anyways uh amanda john thank you so much for joining me we actually friends in chat if you don't know this was totally last minute um i you know i called on my friends here and say hey <laughs> can we talk about foods gave them food and they like they jumped at the chance right yeah we, we got to do it so i want to thank them again for doing this on the last minute really appreciate mm -hmm. it friends um amanda where can people find you on the interwebs um so i'm on twitter Twitch and Instagram at Panda Angel, P A N D A, the number eight, N G E L. Um, but I also have a, uh, I, I have a board game only Instagram, and it's a uh, This Panda Loves Games with underscores for spaces. So you can find me there. Awesome. Cool. And John, what about you, my friend? Well, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and uh, Twitch as Book of Nerds. That's B-O-O-K-O-F-N-E-R-D-S, Book of Nerds. And uh, otherwise, you can find me on my blog, bookofnerds.com. And uh, that's where I'll be. Like, physically, I'll just be sitting on my blog. And you can find me there. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, just find me there. Look me up. And, you know, if you're interested in talking about some of the things I like, like horror movies, funky stuff, luchadores, cats, uh, yeah, hit me up. We'll talk about all that stuff. Nice, nice. And just a reminder that this episode has been brought to you by our friends at Thunderworks Games. Please check out their Kickstarter for Cartographer's Heroes. It is closing on Friday, so you got a couple of days left, or about a day and a half left to back that. Uh, friends in chat, thank you all for joining us. It's been so much fun hanging out with my friends Amanda and John. And until next time, we will see you later. Have a great day. Bye now. Bye. Are you going to raid? <laughs>